how can I automate the student enrollment process? With Power Automate, you say? Power Automate is one of many productivity tools in the Microsoft 365 Apps Launcher. It allows for the creation of flows between external apps such as Gmail and Dropbox, external and internal apps such as Gmail and OneDrive, or internal Microsoft apps such as Forms and Lists. Today, I'll show you how to send Microsoft Form responses to a list serving as a database, which then triggers emails to be sent to the submitter and anyone else you might want to send it to. One of my responsibilities at work is to process Canvas change requests, which involve student and instructor enrollments into their Canvas courses. Originally, this was triggered by someone sending me a change request in an Excel document via email. Needless to say, this was a cumbersome process that consisted of receiving the email, opening the Excel file, processing the request, updating and saving the Excel file, and finally crafting and sending an email to the original submitter to confirm the status of the request. This could take anywhere from one minute to even hours, depending on the complexity of the requests. To create a more efficient and effective workflow for me and my coworkers, as well as have a better way to store the data from these requests, I'm using Power Automate. So instead of having staff at each campus send me an email with an Excel file, I created a form for them to fill out and submit to me. The form responses are sent to the corresponding lists, and then email status updates are sent to the submitter during the process. So let's get started. If you've used Microsoft Forms before, you notice that there is a way to view responses, of course, and the responses can be uh, viewed in various ways in a results summary, a response per uh, question. Um, you can also see by respondent. You can also view it as an Excel document that will continue to populate as you receive more responses. I wanted to do it differently and uh, have a process that used Microsoft Forms and lists instead of Excel. Um, and in the middle of that would be uh, the Power Automate flow. And I'll get into that now. So first what I've created is a form for student enrollments. The first four are text-based and the uh, fifth one is a choice. So if we went into here, we could see that we have a text-based answer. I made sure to uh, make all of these required. And then the fifth one for the campus it has um, four choices. Pittsburgh, Harrisburg, Philadelphia, and Scranton. Now those answers, how they're spelled, uh, matters for the Microsoft list that these responses will transfer into. Um, so within my SharePoint site called Instructional Design Team, I created a list called Student Enrollments and I left the first column as is, as I will not use that. But I have one called first name, one last name, one student ID, one course, and one campus. Now you see the T in the box for these first four, that means that they are text-based. So if I went into it, column settings, edit, you'll see that it is a single line of text. For the campus, you see there's a little check checkbox. Column settings, edit. This is a choice type, and I entered these four choices, Pittsburgh, Harrisburg, Philadelphia, and Scranton, to match what's in the form. All right, so we need to be able to connect the form to the list, which will be our, our database. Uh, so now we go into Power Automate, and all of these apps are available in the upper left-hand corner, the uh, drop-down for the Office 365 apps, the app launcher. And so I simply chose Power Automate, and 
This one is an automated cloud flow, and the trigger is when a new response is submitted. So let's go into here and see that I already chose the form ID of student enrollment test one, which is right here. The action, the first action that I want to add is to get the response details. Okay, from Microsoft Forms, and here's my action. Okay, so the form ID is the name of the form, that's student enrollment test one, and the response ID, if I click inside there and choose the lightning bolt, which is the dynamic content, all I have is a response ID, which is coming from the trigger. Next, I will add another action. And this one needs to be uh, create item. So the trigger is when somebody res uh, submits a new response um, in via a form, we get response details, and then those response details um, get created in the list. So the site address, that's where it's housed, is the instructional design team. The list name is called student enrollments. And then we need to be able to tell it what to put and where. So nothing's showing up right now, but it says showing zero of seven. So let's choose show all. And now we can see the columns that were created. First name, last name, student ID, course, and campus value. So if we click inside each one of those and then choose the uh, dynam dynamic content icon, then we can just match these up. Student first name, last name, student last name, student ID, student ID, and course. For campus value, you see when we click on it, it gives us the four choices. We don't want to select any of those because we want it to be based on what the person submitted. So we'll choose um, custom and go back into the dynamic content and choose campus. All right, let's save this. And once it's saved, let's see if we can test it. Let's click on test. We'll do a manual test, submits a new response to the selected form to trigger it. Let's try it out. And let's choose Pittsburgh and submit. Okay, let's go to the Power Automate to see if it was successful. It looks like it was successful. We've got the check, check, and check. Now let's go to the list and see if anything shows up. If it doesn't automatically show up, let's refresh the page. Okay, there it is. Very good. So every time somebody uh, submits a form, it will populate in this student enrollments list. Instead of having to go back to this list frequently, we want to have a way to be informed whenever somebody uh, submits a form response. So the easiest thing that we can do is to do it right in the list itself and not have to do something more in Power Automate. So let's go to Automate and Rules, and we will create a rule. So we will choose um, when a new item is created. A new item means a new entry. Um, so when a new item is created, send an email to, and you could choose created by, um, modified by, or me. So I want to be informed, so I'll choose me and click create, and you'll see that it's on. And so um, we can see how it shows up when a form response is um, submitted. So let's try that. And Philadelphia, submit. Okay, 
and let's refresh. Okay, so we have one here and we will see if we get an email. So I just received an email. It says Daniel Lindy added an item, updated list, student enrollments, go to item. So you have to simply click on go to item and then it will open up the list item view. And you'll see everything here. You can go back one level to the actual list. If you go back into uh, this view, you can actually make changes. And in a future video, I will show you how to provide a status update this way. So we could have a new uh, field here for status and we could have choice items such as uh, received, uh, pending, awaiting more info, fully processed, not processed, and so on. And upon that uh, modification being made to the list item, that would trigger an email to the original submitter so they can see what's going on and where we're at in the process. So stay tuned for that.